Welcome back to the show. As promised, this is what we're going to be grilling today, boys and girls. <clears throat> Dawn, we got some beautiful little sweet pepper. You know, That's I never, a lot of color. I never really, it's beautiful. I mean, yes. it's so pretty. I don't even know if I want to put it on the grill. But I've never really eaten a lot of the sweet peppers. So we're going to take these. You're going to core one so you can show everybody what we've done. Right. You just take it right here from the top. If you have anything, like I have a little pumpkin carver knife that's really kind of cool that you can use for this, mm -hmm. but you can also just take a little regular paring knife or a small knife and just pull it around oh, right see, here. Oh, I did it wrong. Yeah, I wasn't watching you a while ago off you camera. I actually way. whacked off the side. Yeah, you could do it whichever yeah, that way. way. This it saves holds more it of in, it. And yeah. it holds it in, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then all you're going to do is just rinse out to get the rest of the seeds out and everything, and then you're ready to stuff it. So then we're going to take some of the smoked Gouda cheese that you, you yep. wanted me to buy. Yeah, you're going to take a little bit of smoked Gouda. I like smoked Gouda because you want something with a lot of flavor. That way you don't use a lot of it. Well, we so sampled this is, off a of camp. <laughs> it's that's got good flavor. Stuff. That's good stuff. And then keep, that's way too much. We're going to use just a little bit. Okay. Well, we'll eat all of it. So oh, you're yeah. going to cut we're this in like little it. cubes? Right. We're just going to cut it in little rectangles. Oh, long. Okay. Because you want it to fit in there. All right. And just a little bit, and you're just going to stuff it inside the pepper. Okay. Just like that. All right. It's be One ready little to piece. It doesn't One take... little piece. It doesn't take much. Okay. So. And that's the cool thing. Like Gouda isn't a very low-fat cheese by any means. Right. But the thing is, it has so much flavor that you you're not going to use a whole lot of it. Right. And so it it's keeps not, its texture. So it's, it's healthy, but it's uh, like really not really healthy. But, no, no, no. but it's just good. What makes the whole thing healthy is the peppers. Excellent. That's what makes hey, it You healthy. said something off camera. That was pretty crazy. You were saying how much vitamin C is in them peppers? Yeah, you know, if you get like one regular red, orange, or yellow pepper, a right. medium one, right. you're looking at close to 300% of your daily requirements of vitamin C. That so that's just kind of like two mind. of these and you're good. The key is with vitamin C, it's not real stable in heat. Mm -hmm. So we want to cook them real quick. You don't want to, um, if you're counting on your vitamin C from your peppers, you want to eat them raw as often as possible. Okay, so They're we'll really finish good. that up later. So we got the cheese, we got the peppers. We're mm -hmm. going to put that on the grill a little later. Now we got zucchini and squash. Yeah, zucchini and squash is a great little side dish to use for anything. Right. Key is zucchini and squash are right at about 25 calories per serving. So we're just going to cut this off right here. Man, and you she's can... pretty and smart. Yo, where oh, you learned all look, that? look, huh? You can do this one of two ways. You can just cut little medallions right here. Yeah. Or we can cut it as spears, depending upon what you want to do and right. uh, what kind of presentation you want. Right. Oh, Lordy, I'm making a mess right That's here. That's all right. So when you say spears, you just cut it like lengthwise? Just cut it lengthwise, yeah. Okay, so let me try that. So if you're going to use something as more of like a finger food or anything, then you can use it that way. The spears are a little bit easier on the grill than the medallions just because you can manage them a little bit better. Kind of like that? Easier. Exactly. Well, I did that good. Huh? You did. I, beginner's luck. Watch. Beginner's luck is right. I don't think I didn't do good in before. geometry, but I know angles. I, I used to weld in our shop. So there you go. Look how pretty. That's okay, beautiful. so we're going to do this. Now, do you oil it down? Do you put, what do you do with it? We're going to put a little bit of olive oil what? on it, and then we're just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of seasoning, some salt and pepper. Cool olive thing oils. with zucchini and squash is that you can't really, you can't mess it up. Right, and, you know? and you want the flavor to come through, so you don't want to put exactly. too, too much. Okay, yeah. so we got that. We're going to have that all prepped for the next episode. And then we're going to have this beautiful, That's a beautiful pretty tuna. tuna. I, beautiful I was telling tuna you at the here. beginning, I, depending on what mood I'm in, I sometimes would rather order or, or cook at my house this type of meat than a, a filet mignon. Yeah. It, it, if you cook it right, the texture actually is just mm -hmm. like a filet mignon, and there's so much flavor in it. Now, I did, you know, I kind of helped you out with, I'll have the, my, my favorite little rub, and what it is, it's real simple. It's just granulated sea salt, uh, some fresh cracked black pepper, some Hungarian hot paprika, and a little bit of uh, dill weed. And so, after I do that, I just kind of twist it all up, kind of grind the dill weed in the dish, and then I added a little bit of butt rub, because as we all know, a little butt rub makes everything better. <laughs> and we're gonna basically do the same thing, but I'm gonna use grapeseed oil instead of olive oil because it has really yeah. no flavoring, and we just mm -hmm. need something to help it stick to the meat. So we're gonna just lightly gl glaze it with the grapeseed oil, and then we're gonna season it with that. We're gonna store that on a very, very hot fire. You want to yes. sear it two minutes, sear it on the other side two minutes, take it off, right? Right. And then at the very end, we're going to do some beautiful pineapples. Yes, the pineapple, we're going to just cut it up into planks. And once we get it in planks, we're just going to melt a little bit of butter and honey and just put a little bit on top of it. 
and leave it on the grill for just a few minutes. And there's a lot of natural sugars and pineapple, so what you'll oh. end up finding is the sugar will start to caramelize and that's oh, where yeah. the flavor is at. That's where the flavor is and also whenever we're talking about vitamin C, about nutrients, that's the cool thing about this, this entire meal is that you can sit down and eat it. You're not only gonna have a party in your mouth with all the flavor, mm -hmm. but you're also gonna feel good about what you're eating. You're getting all of your omega-3s right here. You're getting all of your vitamin C, great antioxidants and anti-inflammatories in, um, in the zucchini, and it's gonna taste delicious. Well, I'm impressed not only with your knowledge, but with how pretty this food looks. I think you guys, I hope you're enjoying this because next segment, we're gonna be on the grill with all this food, so stay tuned.